Okay, I've got most of it done. And I scraped everything the best I could. I don't want to pressure wash with rain coming because it's wet enough in here. And I put extra thick right here where it was really just sopping muddy. I still have a bag left. I'm going to wait till tomorrow before I throw it down just so I can see how much soaks up. And it makes a huge difference that I took plastic off there. You coming in? Stay outside. Bernice, you go come in here. Come here, girl. Bernice. Betty Jane, come on. Okay. But I, uh, I'm going to leave um, this rope here because sometimes I'll get them like a head of cabbage or something and I, or some kind of, you know, even watermelon or anything. Tie it on the end of that. That'll give them something to do. So I'm going to leave that there. That came out of the coop. I built that for the bantams to perch on at night, but they want to be up with the big girls. So nobody has perched on that in months. So I just brought it out here, and they like getting on it. Betty Jane. So I cleaned up the best I could, and then I, the girls were outside, all of them, so I put a layer of uh, lime powder uh, or pulverized lime, however you want to call it. I call it lime powder. Put it down all over everything. That's why some of the stuff's got white on it. Um, and then I put my, um, I sprayed some uh, permethrin down around everything. Put the shavings down. And then I put my um, essential oils spray that I made in here. So, it smells pretty good in here. <laughs> So this is going to be the only feeding place. So that's my new waterer that I got today. Just lift the lid up and put the water in there. And it's right by my hose. And they're going to have that one feeder there, which is plenty enough. Because even when I work, as soon as I get home, they get out in the evenings. So they do get out every day. But three days a week, they're out before it gets daylight till they go to bed at night. So... My leg horn. Poor girl. You just ain't white no more. You need a bath bad. <laughs> they all need a bath. And I got all my... That's their mealworms or treats. And I keep my uh, oyster shells over there. They do eat it. And in my mailbox here, I gotta clean that. I keep all my stuff for my waterers. My vitamins and stuff like that in here. Got scissors. I don't know what that is. Um, Some more electrolytes and stuff and I've got some kind of um drops I use too backyard chicken uh digestive health support and I I alternate and then I've got the um, um apple cider vinegar too so I alternate their waters on using different things so the next time that one gets filled uh that one gets a garlic in it And then I left that little stool there. A bantam's just hop up. That's low enough. They just hop right up there. Okay, girls, why aren't you outside? And I didn't bother sweeping off or scrubbing off the, their porch yet. I mean, it's still kind of, it's going to get nasty the, in the next few days. So come spring, I'll get everything scrubbed off. Bernice! What, baby? What, baby? I need to put some treats in your little birdhouse, don't I? What? What you doing, Bernice? I know, baby. She bowed down today and let me pet her. Didn't you? Yeah, you did. And I just got my water right here. I still got to clean that one can there. One feeder. But I'm just going to leave it out here for them for now. But I've, uh, at least it's a start. And, <laughs> a little roly-poly. It smells a lot better. It looks a lot better. And they got a lot more room. I got the cans out of here in the shed, which now I can get their feed together without them in my way. And just carry the bucket over in here. <laughs> so we're getting there, girls. We're getting there. <laughs>